make a snack for that grandson that's here and I'm going to make pizza sticks. Boy, he loves pizza. So this is the alternative to making pizza. I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to use some canned pizza crust. I've already opened it, but it's back there where your canned biscuits are. And I'm going to bring y'all over here and show you what I'm going to do next. They're easy to make and it's a quick snack. And there's a lot of variations you could do on it. So y'all come on over here and we'll get some baked for him and then he's just going to dip them in marinara sauce and eat them. And it's going to be like pizza, but it's a whole lot easier to hold and eat and easier to make. So y'all get over here and let's see what we can do with this. Okay, you're going to need your pizza crust. You're going to need some string cheese, which makes it very easy. Get us out some cheese here. And this is mozzarella with jalapenos, bell peppers, and other natural flavors in it. So we'll see about this. I'm also going to take and chip up a little bit of pepperoni and put in there. I think I can get this open. Well, get off of my pizza crust trash. I'm just going to use my kitchen scissors and snip some of this up. And here's what you're going to do. You're going to open up your string cheese. Sometimes I feel like an absolute weakling. It's hard to get some of this stuff open. And you're going to find you... See, I have taken this dough and stretched it. Let me show you. Because you can stretch it. See, you can stretch it thinner. To fit your pizza pan, but we're just going to be using it like this. So I'm going to take this little corner piece right here and lay my string cheese down on it. But you want it to stay closed where your cheese won't run out. And I'm going to cut some of these pepperonis to where I can lay them down beside that cheese. I'll show you. Because I want pepperoni in it. And you can make these little bites or as big as you want them. I may do some of both sizes. Now I'm just going to cut this crust. Can y'all see what I'm doing? I hope you can see. I'm going to fold this up like this where it'll kind of be closed. You can roll it any way you want to. And I'm going to roll it over this way. And I've got some extra here. And over this way. And I'm just going to kind of make sure it seals. So that when my cheese melts, it'll be sealed inside. It won't run out everywhere. Now I've had them to run out. And they're still tasty. They're just not pretty. And I'm just going to bake this on a uh, rack with parchment paper underneath it. So let me make another one here. I think I'm going to take this piece of cheese and half it. Well, my oven's hot. I love my June oven still, folks. It tells me on my phone app and it tells me on the oven that the oven is preheated. Okay, this time I'm going to make one a little bit... Uh, let's see here. can do just laying some pepperoni on it. Because you 
is you got to have enough pizza crust to pull all the way over and keep it up in there so you won't lose your cheese when you get through making your sticks. Now you can use homemade pizza dough if you want to and I have a wonderful homemade dough recipe that I plan to share with y'all really soon. But I'm just trying to do something pretty quick for him to eat today. A good snack. See, it's all sealed in there. I see a spot on this one that I need to seal. Go ahead and lay this over here on the rack. I'm going to put another little piece of dough right here. It looks like it's trying to... My uh, pepperoni's poking out. I haven't put pepperoni in them before, just the cheese sticks. But I wanted to try adding some meat to them. So... Put this on the rack. You know, I better spray that rack with some kitchen spray. <laughs> and I put me some uh, parchment on the bottom because I don't want to clean up cheese that may run out. So there's one. I'm going to keep making them, and I'll bring y'all back and show you, and then we'll get them over there in the June oven to cook. Okay, they're not beautiful, but they're delicious. That's just my dish with marinara in it. I just put it in a little, <clears throat> and there's the pizza sticks. And they've got the cheese and the pepperoni inside them. If I had cooked them on a pizza stone, the bottom would have been crispy too, but I didn't think about doing that. So, let me show y'all another little something. I cooked them on this rack right here with parchment under it because if some of the cheese dripped out, see it's made cheese chips and you can get it up off of the parchment. This is one I like because it's browner. But that's just an idea. I just got through eating some of those pizza sticks and they're good. Y'all need to make you some. It's not hard. Now, if you have a good homemade pizza crust recipe, and I have one I'm going to share pretty soon, uh, you can make your own, but uh, that canned pizza crust works really good in a situation like this. So you can call them pizza sticks, you can call them pizza rolls, or pizza hand pies. Any way you want to name it, they taste yummy. Now you could take some ham and chip it up and put you some pineapple and ham in there and a little bit of cheese and you'd have you a Hawaiian pizza roll. They're just, there's so many variations you can do. Not rocket science, just think up something different to put in the middle. And I like pizza so these were right down my alley. And grandson, he ate everything that Nana didn't want. Nana didn't eat much so he ate most of them. I hope y'all have a really good week. I hope the good Lord blesses you and brings joy and happiness into your life and uh, some calm after all the storm and stuff we've been through. It almost feels like stuff's getting a little bit normal. That's scary, but I'm trying to believe it's going to be better. Y'all be sure and say a prayer for our country. Pray that the Lord's will will be done in our election and uh, for the betterment of our United States of America. And all of y'all that are not from the U.S., you can pray for our country too. It needs some prayer right now. Y'all take care of yourself. Come back here in a day or two. We're going to have something else good to eat, I promise. <laughs>